can I just say I have a bad idea of mm. uh, I guess not a bad idea, a bad thought process if you want to hear it. Mm. We're not alone is Rachel stand who used her power to bring us on to her friend's dream so that we could help her because she needed help. That's not too this, out there. Yeah, I was I was considering not alone being Rachel myself. Yeah, that's that's my thought process. Or do you want to do you want to use a monologue action on that, Richard? <laughs> sure. Oh, God. I remember, right. Tully only says, "Do you want to use a monologue action when you're going to be chicken?" <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and you're saying that we're not alone is Rachel's stand. Either her stand or tied to her in some way, shape, or form. Uh. And this is a monologue action? Yes, ma'am. You're 100% correct. <gasps> nice. I'm gonna drop her bizarre field by one. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, wait, does this also mean I'm not shaking anymore? You are not shaking <laughs> against We're Not Alone anymore. <laughs> Congratulations! Nice. Oh my god! That was a fantastic monologue, Richard. Because <laughs> he was like, don't let her in, don't let her in. It's just like, oh, we should have let her in. Mercury is still like, don't let her in. <laughs> now, why are you assuming? Now, why are you assuming that it's a good thing to let her in all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. So here's my thing. Here, here's my thing. Her mentality of a child actually makes her more dangerous because she doesn't. She might not understand what Guys. can hurt someone. Guys, we can find Rachel very easily. What by asking Werner to learn? <laughs> Yes, a stand would always know where its user is. So You've asked, uh, we we're not alone about its user before, and it has responded in confusion. <laughs> yeah. My guess is that the arrow being inside of Rachel somehow makes we're not alone more autonomous and more like their own person. Yep. Their own person with the same relative mentality. I was gonna say, it sounds like we're not alone might be a yeah. also requiem. Can we say we're not it's... alone like normal people, please? <laughs> yeah, Never. please. Yeah. Say we're, we're not, not alone. alone. Say it normally. We're not alone. Stop it. it. I will <laughs> kick you out of this call. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted. So, we're gonna go back into the game, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Everyone had gone back to the police station and was having a conversation with Dodd, as you do. Sebastian's still dying. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, yeah. Out of nowhere, yeah, out of nowhere, um, like, there's, everyone's having their conversation, things are going normally, the TV, like, sh shakes and shudders for a moment, a bubble pops into existence, and suddenly all the information of what just occurred comes to you. <laughs> Oh god damn it! Oh, okay. What? Uh, Sorry. God, I need, what? I need you to run. A, I need you to check missing persons reports. The fuck? What? Okay, what does Don, this have we to just... do with pizza? Oh god. <laughs> um, okay, we... oh, okay, so let us explain. Sebastian finds his hand on the table. He, oh he... my god! We're not alone. with behind that? What? Um, <laughs> okay. Enemy stand things. Oh, we found an arrow, by the way. What the fuck are you on right. about? Slow Dog, down! Let me, here. Uh, to put it short, we're not alone as an ally. What? Uh, just, I'm oh. not willing to jump to that conclusion oh. yet. He's huh? a child! Yes. We need we need to uh, put... Huh? We need you to check the reports for a <laughs> Rachel <laughs> and... <laughs> what was her name, Mercury? <laughs> she slams down on the couch. <laughs> it was just... Rachel. One thing at a time. And uh, the other girl's name. June. I just what said. What are you on yes. about? We need to. We need. Okay, let's let's start this from the beginning. Yeah. How about that? Sorry. Did you just get attacked by a stand or something? What the fuck was that? Yes. Essentially, yes. My God. Okay. I, uh, well, not really attacked by it. We're not alone. If I'm assuming this right, dragged us into her friend's mind. We're not alone. Made us make someone not alone. Yes. I don't follow. Well, you don't have to keep speaking in riddles. Mercury, yeah. continue. Yeah, let's just say it outright. Okay, so we were brought into a dream world, similar to uh -huh. what Not Alone had put us in before. We were inside memories of her user's friend, mm -hmm. uh, whom 
we fought, their stand was autonomous, had points to the arrow, that arrow inside of it. Please don't touch it, by the way. And then once we brought it out, the stand mellowed out. That's And then we were allowed to come back here and quote-unquote wake up. That's relatively the gist of it. Yes. Well, there we have had a conversation with the, uh, I guess, the mentality of the user of the stand that had the arrow in it. Judging from the fact that she's conscious and still has an active stand, she may still be alive, but she is heavily wounded somewhere. I, okay, I, let me let me put this more I, clearly. Information that we have just learned is leading us to believe that Rachel may be the user of the stand. We are not alone. Also. I have to point this out. Um, I don't believe that the girl is alive anymore, simply because I've... Well, I mean, unless she's similar to me. Be- so, so, so you're trying to say, we're not alone. Somebody stand. You met the stand user's friend who sent you through a crazy dream, and that crazy dream gave you all this information and that bubble that just appeared out of nowhere. With yes. the arrow. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think. Cool. I'm I going home that, for the night. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, yeah, Fuck! I need to think up. about that. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a lot of information to take. Yes. Do you have someone check the missing persons reports? Yeah, I'll do Jonah, it in the morning. Right Jonah, now. your your people are on the way. Okay. They'll be Jonah, here in a I don't moment. Think, uh, I don't think that that's going to do much. Ciao. The girl did. <laughs> she walks out the off. room. <laughs> Uh, Mercury sets his hands on the table and said, The girl didn't know what a cell phone was. Yes, I think that... Jonah uh... turns towards Mercury. Mercury, in Jonah's eyes, you see a lot of tears and the, uh, the look of sheer anger in Jonah's face. I, I have to agree. I think that... I think that if she, if she was alive, she would have died from old age a long time ago. Perhaps. But anyway, it's the other person, Rachel. You hear clattering and feet run back up the stairs. Okay, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, hey, Don, you want to know something else really cool? Ah, uh, uh, break. what? <laughs> come closer, come oh, closer. Oh, hi, Jonah, what's this, up? This is... What's up, Don? Yeah, we're oh, on break, so to be casual. Yeah, hi, Sebastian, how are you doing? Who? The fuck is that? Did you... Apparently I can do this now. Do you have an axe stand? His stand Wait, evolved. An axe Wait, what? stand. What the heck is an axe stand? It's a stand, stand that gets better and starts out as dog shit. Yes. Yeah, that seems it. Cool. Uh, what? I'll mark you down as what? potentially dangerous to the government. Um. Wait, what? Ah, you're going on a <laughs> secret list. Don't worry about it. It's not too important. They don't do anything with it. He wasn't already. Hey, Slash, high five. Have you seen what he ordered from the internet? Oh, before? please! <laughs> I know. I see the reports. <laughs> I, I lean over the table and hold up a high five to Sebastian and say, "Nice." <laughs> am I? Wait. Am I, on, am I on list? <laughs> oh fucking hell! <laughs> he high fives Mercury in the gold. He's just like, I. Oh, okay. I feel oh. like I'm the only one in this room who might not be on a list, but I'm pretty sure I'm on a list. Oh, Renegade, I'll tell you right now, you're on several lists. Yeah, I've Act- caused a lot of property damage. <laughs> <laughs> Act 2 just kind of sits on Renegade's shoulder and... Oh god, I don't understand any of this. Wait, what the hell? I'm, gonna pet, the- I'm gonna pet the bat. Yeah, you never had a stand that you can talk through. <laughs> Don is gonna materialize yakety yak, and um, God, I haven't used this in ages. She's gonna have it appear behind uh, Sebastian and just go, yak. Sebastian immediately gets very quiet, just pale. <laughs> Don snorts. Yeah, you can talk through him. <laughs> oh God. I- I don't know if you were talking through it or if you were trying to get it to do that thing. <laughs> That's the fun part. I don't either. <laughs> the bat, by the way, is nuzzling into the hand that's petting it. At any rate, I still think we should check the reports to see if we can find this, Rachel. Every moment wasted is another In moment. the morning. What the hell are you talking about reports? You mean missing persons reports? 
Fiona? That's what I've, si that's what I've said five different times. Yeah, no one fantastic. It's not important at this point. Well, it's Jonah, not important Jonah, Jonah. if you chill and you talk clearly and think logically, because we've Jonah. got company coming in about five minutes. Oh, crap. Uh, and we were oh, just God. talking about how we were going to get funding from them to continue this operation, yeah? Crap! Oh, the briefcase! Yeah, Hurry. that stand yeah. kind of messed with our memories a little bit. I see that! Okay, I get think I packed everything away in my together, brain. Together, please! Let's go talk to some sponsors. Vigolji, no, you print me a We don't have to go quick. anywhere, Vigolji. We can stay right here. It's fine. We'll go get um, them. We should probably do something about... I point and glare at the arrow. Yeah, hide that. Yeah, she's holding the bubble. <laughs> Just constantly like, Someone give me a briefcase! <laughs> give me the bubble. You I'm taking the bubble. I, I, uh, I go over, I go to Renegade, I hold up a plastic baggie and hold it under it. Yeah, drop it under <laughs> it. <laughs> I can't touch that bubble, so. Yeah, oh, and no. I can't touch the, none of us can touch the arrow. Oh, so, uh, Sebastian holds up his hands. I've got gloves on, I should be safe. I'm gonna just, I, if Mercury's got a bag, I'm just gonna pop the bubble and let the arrow fall into it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it falls in. I close the plastic bag, I put that plastic bag inside another plastic bag, and I do that another time, so it's inside three plastic bags. Sebastian runs over and it's like, Don, is this box important? I don't care oh, anyway. Oh god, out. why? Those Sebastian! are my files! Fucker! I'll sort them out later! Shoves the plastic baggie inside the box. But Golgi turns up, turns up the volume on his music. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm with you, but go okay. Let's go get him. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Don. Okay, you all of you, take care of things. Got it. Uh, oh, you're all action. a mess. I almost died again. So, where was Jonah this whole time? Um, I have good no question. idea. He, Do you he, know Don? He just got back from the hospital. Do you not remember that? No. Yeah, he has a robot to arm. <laughs> yeah, he's got a new robot arm. Like the gold. Um, probably I... not as fancy. <laughs> Does my arm have a 3D printer too? No, no. I'd imagine that uh, oh, Jonah's arm would be a hundred percent more fancy. It's definitely Fair. because Speedwagon paid for it. Um, <laughs> speaking of Speedwagon, a moment passes, and up the stairs, Dawn and uh, the Goldie return. Two people in tow. While we wait for them, I, uh, Jonah asked Mercury to tell him everything about the arrow. I, I said, I refuse. It's, it's fine. Sebastian's like on the ground. We all have our secrets. We want to use them to protect each other. I'm sure. The less people know the information, the better. Especially with me in the room, right, Mercury? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> I chuckle. Hello, I everybody. Over. Hello. Sebastian's still sorting all the files that he knocked Focus over. To the side. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Edwin Speedwagon. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> At this point, freaking Mercedes run over and tackle hugs Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah reciprocates. Uh, Jonah! Mercury looks at Mercury looks at them and says, "How am I not surprised?" Oh, <clears throat> okay. Edwin, oh. before stepping in, takes out a little spritz bottle, psst, psst, sprays himself with it. <clears throat> oh, yes. Joe, oh. you didn't tell me how to go, I, friend. I walk over oh, and oh, and, and oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh. Mercedes Edwin. looks. No, no. Um, how do we describe this, Jonah? How do we do Mercedes this? Mercedes is my stepsister. Stepsister? Yes, yeah, stepsister. That works. Sebastian, Sebastian looks between the two of them at Mercedes, then Jonah, and then at Mercedes, narrows his eyes. Right. Mercedes gives you the death stare. <laughs> I uh, I offer a hand to Edwin. Nice to meet you. My name is Mercury. Uh, he pulls out a elegant leather gloved hand and he holds it out to you. A pleasure, Edwin Speedwagon, at your service. <laughs> I shake his hand. I look down at the glove. I like you. <laughs> oh, also, also, Edward yeah. is my stepfather. He took me okay. in when my mother died. <laughs> so, Mr. Speedwagon, feel free to find a seat. Oh, yes, of course. Any particular chairs you have uh, ready for me? One of the bats, like, comes over, grabs this chair, drags it over to the front of the table, and pulls it out for him. <laughs> okay. 
there is the definite question of, uh, do they have stands so can they see our stands? <laughs> Edwin narrows his eyes at this motion. <laughs> but Sebastian. it seems like he can see it, yes. Okay. Uh, Jonah pops a caffeine pill. <laughs> Edwin, uh, takes a route around you, and he's gonna avoid bumping into anyone and sit down in the chair and kind of look over at Soul Dracula. <laughs> That's a very interesting looking stand you have there! Whose is this? Thank you. Oh, it talks. The red one. Soul Dracula pushes the chair in a little bit so he's comfy and comfortable and all that. I'm gonna say just comes over and stands next to Edwin. Oh, uh, would you like a chair as well, young lady? Oh, no, it's fine. I can stand. She puts me on my all toes. Right. She adjusts you can the hat. Stand. Oh. <laughs> she laughs genuinely at that horrible joke. All four Soul Dracula's and Sebastian face palm. I look at I look at Sebastian and say, "You're having too much fun with that." I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I'm letting I am. him have fun. I could fucking shut him up if I wanted to. Jesus Christ! Dog puts the dog again. Chill out. <laughs> Puts her face down on the desk. Oh, this is going <laughs> awfully. <laughs> yes, so I hear uh, you in the need of funding. Apologies, Mr. Speedwagon. Oh, not at all. I'm quite used to this sort of a riffraff. I mean, he mostly raised me. Of course he'd be used to riffraff. He spritzes himself again with a little bottle from his cuff. <laughs> anyway, Don, would you like to inform Edwin of our fight so far? Oh, uh, fine. Why would I do that? <laughs> Well, Dracula puts down a new cup of coffee in front of Dawn. Go away, Sebastian. I thought you might want coffee. I do, but that doesn't mean you have to make a show of it. I'm not. I just don't want to get up. Let me sum simmer in peace, damn it. <laughs> so Dracula drops two cubes of sugar in the cup and then backs up. I see, it's like a miniature butler service. Quite intriguing. Would you like something to drink, sir? Oh, why, yes, certainly. What have you got in the house? Uh, Soul Dracula opens the fridge. <laughs> uh, there's some, uh, some mite. Uh, there's, there's, uh, let's see. Smite, is it? Uh, I'll have one of those. Yeah, <laughs> smite. It comes over with a few cans he, of smite. He, he winks, his lightning bolt earrings flashing. <laughs> I, I, want to, I want to use a bizarre point for a really stupid idea. Oh my oh god, god, sure, yeah, 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 what's up? The justification of this is Jonah's lived with Edwin, you know what he likes. Okay. <laughs> he reaches into his coat and pulls out a bottle of Dak Manuals and sits in front of Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> he injects it into the can with a rose. <laughs> Looks over, Jonah, I am in a business meeting, but... And he takes it and puts it under the table. Always the deer. <laughs> I, I meant to give it to you earlier, but I haven't had the chance. I haven't had the chance to see you, my boy! How have you been? Hey, uh, what's us tell him about your hospital adventure? My arm my arm got a bit of an upgrade. I put my um, robot arm. Oh, I see that! I oh, had you a, could say that. I had a bit of a run-in with Uncle. Uh, an uncle of yours? Really? Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, I uh, don't, don't don't <laughs> Speedwagon looks over. What, is there something I shouldn't be knowing? Jonah, I don't know if we're supposed to talk about that yet. Oh, please, be open with everything! I'm here to help! Uh, there are some things that we've kind of promised to not be open about. Well, if you're, gonna, if you're not going to be open about it, how's he supposed to help you? Uh, it's just that, well, some things we are under a NDA on. Oh, you could put it that way. Business talk, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I suppose you say something like that, but I do. I know you'll probably ask about my arm at some point, so I gave as little information as possible. Well, everything I heard over the phone seemed deadly. I am so sorry for all of the trouble and stress you must have gone through. On my regards, I apologize. We were severely under underprepared for that type of an operation. Anything at all? Yes, my boy. Anything that could anything that could possibly help my mother, well, help her memory. And bring well then it's settled. We shall go justice. into more dangerous missions. <laughs> he raises his cup. <laughs> no. Jonah raises, Jonah ah, raises so living dangerously. 
<laughs> we just I... got out of a dangerous mission. I nearly died again. And Face this death. here's to more near-death experiences. <laughs> Soul Jack is just goes, <laughs> Dawn has passed out. <laughs> Dear Edwin, here for a good time, not a long time, am I right? Aye, son! <laughs> Mercury, like, <laughs> takes a cup and raises every, it half every, I imagine everyone just kind of looks at each other and immediately knows where Jonah got his personality from. Yeah, the three over on the side are bombastic and crazy about it. Everyone else just like, eh. <laughs> Even Renegade is like, eh. <laughs> and it's Renegade. How do these, how did these three live with each other? Because they're all exactly the same. Because we're a family. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have warned you about that. I saw her move. <laughs> yes, a family. <laughs> she jumps back. <laughs> does Does Mercedes fall into Mercury? <laughs> she, she, roll luck for, for anime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was from that direction. So yeah, just... fuck it, she falls into you. <laughs> oh, I... no. Mercury just kind of oh, oh, shrivels up into a little kind of uh, a small I'm really sorry she I'm gets sick. herself up. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Why did it's... you have to spook me like that? <sighs> Takes out a wipe. Wipes yeah, yeah this person some... is is much less uh, <laughs> covered than Edwin is. Mercedes, <laughs> did I remind you it's not quite polite to scare people? It's not quite so polite to withhold information. Some people don't know about Mercury's disposition to not wanting to be touched. I, I didn't do that one. I swear <laughs> to God, I did not do that one. Hmm. Well, so this is how the big wig wigs conduct business. <laughs> yes, is it a surprise? Isn't you? there something that we should be discussing? Mercury with? says, <laughs> "Do Mercury says, please do not take this as normal." Yes, please. I am to assume if that in... you all need mm, funding. For your next mission, yes? What type of Very expedition? Much. How can the Speedwagon Foundation help you? In short, we're looking for the Star Road. Oh, you're looking for the Star Road, yes? <sighs> Legendary name. Interesting name. I have never heard of it. Yes, uh, actually, Sebastian's gonna grab, uh, like a blank piece of paper from the table and draw what he saw from the, uh, the railroad. Mm, I see, I see. Edwin peers over the table. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yes. We saw oh, so the place where a thousand roads connect. That sounds yeah. like it could only be one place in my mind. How about you? And to anyone who's lived in the city for a decent amount of time, it would sound like only one place. Um, there is a Mercury. place. There is everyone except Mercury. There is a place in town in Electros called the Great Overpass. It's generally known as like the messiest intersection in the whole city because it connects all five points of the city in one spot that actually might be where really yeah hey, that might be where we're not alone and rachel uh, well yes yeah, that but also june as well possibly yes oh uh, speaking of which that makes edwin, too can... much sense no, we can't go edwin. there edwin could you put in a request for me. Yes, what is it, my boy? I'd like to have it so that people check missing persons reports mm -hmm. for a June and a Rachel. A June and a Rachel. Uh, any last names? We got a last name. Oh, did uh, we? Rachel Crod. Ah, Crod. Yes, How do you spell Crod. that? K R O D. K R O D. Yes. He pulls out a little bit of a. Uh, Sticky notes from his pocket. Yes, I will have them on that immediately. Anything else? Uh, Funding-wise, I, I can help you with. Uh, let's see here. Well, if we're going to be doing this, we're probably going to need money to get to Star Road and all these other places. I can supply transport. That is no problem. Transport, yes. Equipment, oh. if should we require it, and medical expenses. We can also needed. we can also help them directly. No, my dear. We will not be accompanying them. No, 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 no. No such thing. Oh, come on. Mercedes. That would be a Mercedes. lot of fun. Mercedes, I would rather avoid you getting hurt. Although I know I can't really stop you. That's Edwin's job. Yes. Uh, Bagolji is shooting Sebastian resist temptation looks. 
<laughs> what? I... The two soul Draculas appear behind Edwin and they start kneading his shoulders. Oh, you're very tense, sir. Let us get this for you. <laughs> Edwin looks back. Please, if you could... Enough with the hands on the shoulders. I am quite all right, I'll assure you. Okay. Why are they like this? Is anyone else is like this? Don looks up. Your He's sisters. Not an automatic stand. Gonna hide does one at once. I don't like this. I feel like it's going into this my really head. This really reminds me now, of Rhapsody. Now you know what do, uh, what your sister feels like. Why is this like this? Shit. Looks like you've got a total lack of control, Mr. Uh, vampire Guy. Oh, I'm not a vampire. It's Sebastian. <sighs> oh. Give him a break, Mercedes. He was pretty much beaten within an inch of his life just now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, shall we get to that story? You don't look like uh, you were beaten uh, up. Yes, quite. It was very weird. I don't see a campfire. Yeah, actually, wait. Sebastian, like, pats himself over for any of the wounds and then checks to see if the coat's there. The are we ignoring that incredible line Duncan just dropped? <laughs> wait, what, what, what did he say? It's like, should we get into the story? He's like, I don't see a campfire. Let's see a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, no, I saw it. I was just like, that's God. great. Good. Yes. Good. Oh, yes. Uh, actually. Oh, no. Sebastian, do you have your phone on you? I'm checking. Yeah, you do. Does he have the old one that he left behind with the girl as well? No, or? he does not. Oh, hey! Ooh. That's gone, and so is my coat. Yeah. Uh, Jonah pulls out his phone and dials Sebastian's old number. Just make sure to put it on speakerphone. Uh, you ring the phone and... June, are you there? But, hello? June! Ah, oh, it worked! Hey, it worked. Who are you calling, my boy? Our friend. It's... A um, ghost in a phone. <laughs> she's, one of, she's one of two things. She's either a ghost or someone severely wounded and needing our help. It's really hard to hear you. Um... I imagine so. June? June, the man that's here with us is a man by Edwin Speedwagon. He's the one who's been funding us and our best chance of finding you. Okay. And Rachel. Okay. We have a lead where we think Rachel might be. Okay. We're going to head there first. We'll probably head there first thing in the morning unless anyone objects. Okay, okay. We'll keep you updated. Are you speaking of Star Road or are you speaking of another location? Star Road. Yeah. The Great the Overpass. overpass. Great Overpass, yes, that's it. Does that sound familiar, June? I don't know. I don't it's remember okay. anything. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. Ah, don't fret about it. We've got everything under control, right, team? Yes. <laughs> yep. Mercedes. All under control, every day. She, she leans over to the uh, phone. Anna. Is there a... Is there a little... So who is this? You you met her in the dream? Hey. June, uh, that'll be all. Just wanted to make sure that we could actually reach you as well as inform you of our lead. Hang in there. Um, um, uh, okay. And let us know if you need, ever need anything. Uh, yeah, how do I, how do I ask for help on this thing? Oh, you remember how I told you how to use it? No. Oh, it's all right. Just use the big buttons to select the name of the person you want to contact, mm. and then press the green button. Hmm. <laughs> okay, she. <laughs> your phone rings, Sebastian. <laughs> well, oh, he picked oh, it up. No, no, Hello? sorry. Um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> There's it's an echo. Okay. <laughs> it goes over the air. Yeah. Feedback loop. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> just if you want. Things out. Oh, sorry. No, don't be. Dude, I'm going to hang up now. Uh, talk to Sebastian. You want, but uh, hang in there. Thank you. Ah, uh, Don. Have you been asleep this whole time? No, just trying to get out of the conversation. I'm here. <sighs> well, I got a feeling that we're wrapping things up. So, that was Mercedes. That was the girl we met in the dream. Yes. Uh, Fascinating. I, I, 
You know, I just believe her to be dead, but I believe her to be alive still, given the fact that she's still conscious and... Like, well, I more said that it's likely she's dead. That's well, considering you're talking to her from inside of a phone, it seems possible that you're talking to a specter, a phantasm, or the like. That type of uh, phenomenon has been recorded in the past. Sebastian yeah. did leave his phone and his jacket inside the dream dimension. I mean, there's a physical presence there. Sure yeah. enough. But have you ever been to a ghost's world before? Can you say for sure that you know how it works? I do not think so. Uh, Unless you just were, and in case you witnessed it for the first time. I'd rather mm. not think about this right now. The whole thing's giving me a stomach knot. I'm with you. You know what I want to think about? What's that? Kung Fu fighting? Food? Yes, food. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Edwin, uh, that was one of the people we were trying to find. That, that was June that we are trying... If you can find a missing persons report for it, it might give us clues as to our whereabouts. Okay, a missing persons report. Transportation and constant contact as you search out the Great Overpass. Is there anything else I need to know? Medical expenses and any other equipment expenses should we need them. Um, I do have a question. Yes? You have great, um... Medical people and all that stuff. Do you have access to a blood bank? We have the absolute best. A blood bank is no problem for ourselves. What do you wish? Uh, do you think you could keep us with a constant supply of blood? For your, uh, stands abilities? Uh, yeah, something like that. It's yes. ever evolving and all that. Mercury, um, Mercury tugs at his collar a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get that for you. Uh, right. Transportation. Cover. And we'll be on the line if you ever need anything in your travels. You're going to find the heart of the problem that has been plaguing this city. What you find at Star Road may not be what you want to see, but it is most likely the truth. And it's all under the Great Overpass. Aye. Yeah. Also, Edwin. Yes? Did you look at the personally for me? I whisper in the, I can whisper into his ear. Look for a part of an arrow. Hmm. I'll put that on there. Eh. Hmm. Edwin. So. Yes, go on. Uh, uh, Jonah's father. Mm. Who was he in contact with before everything went down? You're going to have to specify. That is a completely tangential subject to what we're talking about. Whenever Jonah's father went missing and all that, uh, who was he with? Uh, did he <laughs> had contact with anyone? My apologies. Uh, that information is classified. It might help with Star Road and all that. Nonetheless, I cannot tell it to you. Uh, fair. Uh, wait, Edwin, another question. Yes? Do you know where my father perished? Yes. I was there. Oh. What happened? Jonah. What did I just say? I cannot share that information. It's fine. I don't need to know. Uh. No matter how much I want to tell you, boy. He looks at Sebastian. My heart goes out to you. My greatest apologies. It's fine. Father did what father wanted to do. Come on, who's hungry? We could go get some food from somewhere. Uh... Anyone down for pizza? <sighs> I don't feel like eating, but I'll come along. So yeah, which I, mean... I, owe, I owe Grace a cup of coffee. Mm. Mm. I mean, we could always Let's get see. food and go back to my place. Right, um, go on, pull an arrow. If you will. Yeah. We should plan things out business wise. Um, if everyone else wants to take the day off, Mercedes? Yeah. Mm, us two can stay here and plan things out. Mm. All right. All right. I'll see you later, Dad. Very well. Mer Mercury steps up, nods to, nods to Edwin. Pleasure. Likewise. Brotherly hug. <laughs> Sisterly hug. Totally. <laughs> Well, thank you for your understanding, Edwin Speedwagon. 
Nonsense. It is all in the job of us speedwagons to protect the weak. I only do what I must. Okay. Anton, I wish you the greatest luck. Yeah, don't mention it. <laughs> she gives you like a wink. You're looking out. I have to deal with Mr. Bombastic all night. Okay, Mercedes is just going to head out. And kind of signal. Chana, we should catch up on the way out. It's been too long. All right. Mm. Have a good night, everyone. Uh, you too. Hi, everyone. Good to meet you. You as well. A renegade, do you want mm. to come over? I think since you have better... <laughs> Sebastian! What? I practically live at your house. I know, but I was gonna say, I thought that <laughs> we could try to talk to you-know-who. We'll stop by a drugstore on the way home. Alright. Sebastian? Hmm? If you need me, me, me or Mercury to also come over, make sure you two stay safe. Yeah. You know our numbers. Yeah. I mean, my door is always open to friends. Yeah, especially if you can pick the lock. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's really not that hard. It, Mercury considers if, Seba if that means he's been invited into Sebastian's apartment. <laughs> he totally has. <laughs> totally yeah. has. He technically has. Right, That's cool. good. Um, <laughs> but uh, Mercury... It, if you ever want to talk, I'm all ears. Hmm. All right. If that's a will. lie, he has teeth too. <laughs> 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 well, if any of you have questions about my, uh, well, you know, then I'm open to some discussion. I'm just intrigued and also very worried about my existence around you. Yeah, I was, I, I was kind of uh, worried you would try and heal me at some point. I honestly thought she was too. Oh, that would have been terrible. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Mercury, I have to apologize. Actually, Jonah and I did have a bad idea while we were fighting before I started doing the whole, what are your friends? Don't fight us. A fail safe, if you will. We filled a vial of blood that we were going to inject you with hormone blood. <laughs> well, it would have been a, it would have been a good strategy. Uh, that is spectacular, and yeah, I'm glad we didn't have to. Yes, that is uh, straightens bow tie. Very good. Yep, we could all be good friends in the end, as it turns out. Yeah, I'm glad Come that on. I no longer. I'm glad that okay. I no longer have to. Keep an arm's length just to make sure that, uh... Keep appearances. Yeah, keep appearances and all that. Ren, do you think it'd be okay if they came with, or, uh... Or should it just be us for now? It's your house. What I'm I... the social one here. You're the introvert. I, 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 I know, and this is new to me, having friends besides you. Want you want people to come over and talk. Sebastian kind of, like, pokes his fingers together. Maybe. They could follow us in the car. I doubt they want to be in the... T t t follow us. <laughs> uh, I can order take I'll out. order take it. Oh, you got it then. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love this. Oh, how, about, how about this? I'll call game. Grace. I'll order take out. You drive. Make sure we don't die and these two can follow us. Can do. <laughs> Sebastian, like a robot, like goes down the stairs. Renegade just looks at Mercury and Mer just... Mercury crosses his arms and says, That was a bit, uh. He's always like that. Yes, I know. You have no idea. <laughs> looks at Bagolji. Why can't he just come out and say it? <laughs> I don't know. Sebastian's coming Code green. Grace Code. responds with a worried face. <laughs> Renegade texts text, uh, Grace, your brother is a mess. She texts back, the house is a mess. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sebastian texts back after she said, like the, the message to him. And That's he's just like, Renegade. <laughs> oh, I know. No, her response to Code Green was, don't you remember oh. Code Green was to make sure everything is picked up and tidy? She responds with an even angrier face. 
<laughs> he responds back, oh shit. Yeah, as I'm about to walk down the stairs, I take one last look back at the crate where we put the arrow, narrow my eyes, and walk down. Oof. Oof. He's, he's giving it that menace, you know? Yeah, I'm menacing menace the arrow. Mm, the real the real loss of life today was um, dawn's afternoon. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Poor dawn. <laughs> Moments later. Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so, Sebastian, last time I seen you said is that this place was a complete chaotic whirlwind. Uh, uh-huh. You don't even know. Yeah, you Sebastian, probably like, I'm sorry, metal all yeah, over the yeah. room. The curtain has been thrown no! down on the floor. It seems like someone was trying to mop, and then the mop got eaten. Before she oh, oh, her enters the door, she takes one finger and slowly puts it inside. Okay, good. Falls at his knees. It's just like no. You see, Grace is so... on the sofa. She's standing up, trying to adjust the lamp on the shelf above. She looks back over. She sweats. Hi, up falls over on their back. Fuck. Oh God, damn it. All right. Renegade's gonna set the curtain back up. Oh. This is fine. I can do this. Oh god, are you okay, sis? <laughs> she... Give him a minute. I'm gonna sweep up the metal. I'm... Would you like us to stand outside? Sebastian. For his dignity, please. Walks back out. <laughs> Just backs <laughs> up. <laughs> what happened? It's I thought that hallway. you had control of him <laughs> You now. thought wrong! Yeah, boss. Jeez. Oh my, what? <laughs> Mm. His is now as bad as yours. Oh. Renegade sets down like a pack of soda. I... Here's for Rhapsody. Thank you. <laughs> it grabs oh the box You're of welcome. soda yes. and consumes it all hot dog style. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. It's fine. Alright. Right. I'm gonna go sweep up the kitchen. I'm gonna set the food down. You two fix here, we won't have to let them in really anywhere else. The TV yeah. shifts slightly. Grace notices it, but looks Renegade. down. <laughs> Renegade ignores Sebastian. that. Sebastian, that's another one of those weird things I saw at the, at the pizzeria. This <laughs> Dracula just floats over and turns on the TV. Rhapsody comes over to the TV and pokes it. Renegade's gonna sweep the kitchen real quick. <laughs> I'm just kind of toying with it in my pocket. Hi, Mr. Mercury! I'm gonna Mercury. open the door. Okay! <laughs> Hello, Dream On. How Dream was your day? It was pretty good. Hi, <clears throat> Rhapsody. Walks inside. Alright, alright, alright. So, Dracula, at Act 2, uh, help me clean! Sebastian will be just a minute. Alright. Is, uh, I I'd... Looks is Rhapsody over. cooking something right now? And is that <laughs> no, thing just metal? <laughs> he's over. He's overlooking at Dreamon. Dreamon's like, I predict that Soul Dracula's not gonna agree. You should tell him. Um, Control your stand better. I'm trying. It's just sitting here looking at me. Oh, Soul Dracula. This is exactly like mine, but you have four of them. Oh. Mercury looks over. You must be. I don't know your name. Rap, sir, D. Hello, Rhapsody. Oh, you want to? Blue. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> cool. Hello, Rhapsody. Blue. I'm gonna grab one of the little bats by like Where? the cape. Hi. <laughs> Listen to Sebastian. Uh... You see this? Holds up her fist. <laughs> you saw what I did to that stand today. Make a stop. Make her stop! Grace listen. grabs the other one. Yeah, that's right. You listen to him. Grace can touch it. <laughs> With Haman, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's, fair point. There's three Haman users in this room. Okay. Yeah. Grace. 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 Worst nightmare. Uh, uh, Grace. Oh, I'm not no. going to punch it, Sebastian. I'm not as sadistic as you. I will punch it. I'm not Friend sadistic. Again. You tried to choke me. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be, fucker. I love yeah. you. Also, <laughs> cool. Great. Also, he puts a hand on his shoulder. No Haman while Mercury is in the house. Why? 
he's uh, it doesn't allergic. agree with him. <laughs> he's allergic. Uh, no. Rhapsody comes towards Dreamon. Dreamon looks up. Grace, Mercury, I don't like how it's looking at me. <laughs> I'm Mercury. gonna set the bat in the sink. Mercury motions <laughs> and moves Dreamon to the other side of him. Uh, I'm gonna turn the water on on the bat. Yeah. Uh, Rhapsody, is it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's chasing Dreamon. It's a pleasure to meet you. And I'm gonna hold out a hand. Oh, which hand? The gold hand. Not the metal one. Okay, it sees your metal one. It stops. It pays attention. Um, Gree. Oh no! I'm gonna grab Rhapsody, pull him back a bit. No. 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 Hung. Gree. There's another pack of oh, stones. Oh, give it a break, you. Renegade. <laughs> he knows how many knives I have on me. Mr. Mercury, it's gonna eat Pigolchi's hand! I, I shake out his sleeve and like three knives fall to the ground. It's just after these. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, he thank goes you. on the floor and starts gobbling up the knives. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just keep your hand on yourself. What hand? Sebastian, how's your day been? Arm. Grace looks over to Sebastian. How's your day been? <laughs> I almost died again, and <clears throat> this- What? Yeah, this happened, by the way, they became oh, this. Sebastian. Also, You need to he keep kinda, yourself like, out of danger. Don't worry, I'm definitely going to do that. He kind of pulls Grace under the chair, he looks at the, uh, he looks at Act 2, he's just like, Act 2, clean, please. Hi! <laughs> I'll help! Renegade! This I just thought out. of a really funny <clears throat> thing. If Dream On goes into a TV, can we watch next week's programming? <laughs> oh my god, yes! <laughs> Does Dream On have any learning points? Hold on. He has a bizarre. He <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do. Number one. Looks like we've got the living room. Alright, two. I'll get the table. You get the chair. Alright! Renegade goes over to Rhapsody. They're still... They're still better than my stand. Uh, oh, right. Hey, oh, by the way, you guys can come in! You don't need to stand there in the front room like a, a freaking awkward house guest. Oh, Seriously, right. you're they more awkward house guest. <laughs> we are awkward yeah, that's house That's kind guests. of the role that we're being forced to play now. <laughs> she yells over, like, seriously, you're acting more like a vampire than he is. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, this uh, salt Dracula has just gotten done putting a plastic sheet over the uh, couch here. <laughs> Grand. Thank you, salt Dracula. <laughs> it bows. So, yeah. As uh, as Rhapsody comes to the curtains, I do the uh, I'm watching you with the two fingers. Is it the metal it, fingers? It, crocks, it, it cocks its head and it looks at your headphones. <laughs> I should have left all my electronics outside. What was I thinking? He likes metal. Yeah, no I see you there. Back off. <laughs> Renegade's gonna grab another can of soda Rhapsody. Mm. It turns its head 90 degrees. <laughs> She's gonna toss it up for him. It leaps into the air and grabs it and chomps down and lands. It's like a dog. Stay. How disturbing. Mm -hmm. Soul Dracula number three comes in and she's like, Hey, uh, someone ate part of the bathroom. Should I be worried about that? <sighs> oh. I'm not finished with that. No, 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 no. Guys, I need help here. On it. On it. Not here. Oh my god. <laughs> they surround him. He looks around. Yeah, it's I okay, buddy. Have. Grace. Then. Beaten. Yeah, what's up? Have you figured out how to dismiss him yet? Almost. You gotta feed him enough, then he'll be like, I'm ready to protect you! And then you say, fuck off, Rhapsody, and he leaves. Okay, how much has he eaten today? A lot. He's probably almost there. I imagine, like, one or two more cans and he'll be good. Okay, like, good, because I bought another 24 earlier. Have you, have you considered bringing him to a dump or something? We should have that's... asked Mr. Speedwagon to hook us up with a recycling agency. Fuck, that's an amazing idea. No, I didn't think of that. Okay. By the way, hearing the fuck off 
Uh, one, two, three, and then four in that order. It's just fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> you managed to hit that uh, that perfect like ringing sound for like uh, structural integrity. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, you hit that, Rhapsody starts to ring to the fuck off, and it just like shatters apart and vanishes. Oh. Well, well, you, just tell it, you just tell it to fuck off and it leaves, I guess. I guess In you just need barbershop to barbershop quartet form. Yeah, that's new. By the way, Grace Seppoli, how's it going? She holds out a hand. Hello, Grace. I think we met at the pizza place. I'm not always a waitress. Yes, we did. I offer my hand. She shakes it, and there's definitely pizza grease still on it. I take off the glove. I put on another one. I put the old glove in a plastic bag. <laughs> the hell what is that about? Thing. She looks at... It's normal, don't us. question it. I feel kind of offended by that. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Gold Dracula number two wipes off her hand with a baby wipe. <sighs> Butler vampires. I'm never gonna get over that. All right. And, and then, then um... takes the bag from... Uh, from uh... Who are you, then? Are you the... you... Points up at Golgi. What's that for? No, who are you? What's the hand thing for? I don't... I'm playing... I don't know you are. just indicating who you... who she's talking to. <laughs> she looks confused. <laughs> she realizes how we best... <laughs> are. <laughs> he's fun. She already knew that, because she's friends with the Renegade. <laughs> no, I was talking about... Were you, like, offering a handshake? No, I was just pointing. Do you want to shake hands here? She holds Hell no! <laughs> oh yeah, that two and four are doing that right now. But uh, we should really call a plumber for uh, the bathroom again. <sighs> oh, we're not going to have to worry about any flooding situations, are we? Hey, don't just stand around awkwardly. You guys should sit down too. I'm I... looking for a movie. Oh, yeah, we've got some weird stuff in there. Sebastian's into some weird things. <laughs> they already know this. Look, cheesy old movies. Ah, Not everyone's into those. See. Oh, well, I mean, if he, they want cheesy, we can always... these? Hey, you found his romance collection! Ho oh, oh. ho! I mean, if you want to watch a cheesy romance movie, we could watch that. But that's like... Please, not again! Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. Sorry, Sebastian, I know you like them, but not right I'm now. Not... I'm not really Let's see, old recordings of myths from the tomb. Uh, Lord Lizard films. All of the uh, Dracula films. Of course, yeah, of course. Not... And the Alucard films, don't forget those. Oh god, yes, I, I just re when watching a movie, if Dream On is here, will he gasp like one minute before every <laughs> Oh, he totally will! <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Uh, why don't we try to watch a, uh, an action movie? We've got, uh, we've got, uh, we've got All Bulu. of my collection. <laughs> no, we've got, we've got Bulu, remember? Oh, are you actually still paying for that? Well, it's only yeah, it's $9 a a money. Month. Yeah, it's a waste of money. You have a lot better options. Anyway, uh, I've told you this before. You don't listen to me. Uh, hey, I listen because they've got movies on there that I don't have. Yeah, so do other services, of. which are better. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> We've been over this. This is tired. You know this, Sebastian. Anywho, you too. I love you. <laughs> That doesn't work on me, Sebastian. You act like I'm some sort of old fucking, like, old flame of yours. I'm your sister. No, I'd say that because I... I nearly died again! Of course I'm gonna be clingy to my sister and my friend. Zzz. Fair point. Stop dying. It's because oh. he's got these really stupid ideas, and that's coming from me. Hey, hey, oh, I, man. I, uh, I, I didn't have a bad idea. To be idea fair, this. they work sometimes. They're perfectly acceptable ideas. Thank you. But, uh, it, uh, You're oh. gonna bring him to tears with that. Gotta okay. ease into it first. Come on. <laughs> uh, it's here, though. I can... Sebastian sits on the ground in front of the table. It, I can sit Yikes. here to pick the couch renegade with the Grace. I was going to sit on the floor. It's fine. No, spend time with your fucking sister. 
Spending time? I'm right Get here. Get over right here, next Renegade. Minute. Come on. Fine. Okay, right. you know what? You need me, need me, I need me. Uh, this one. Oh, Sweet, good what is choice. it? Good choice. Uh, nice. Can you read the label for me? Uh, yes, it looks like it's uh, Alabama Jones. Alabama. Alabama. I mean, that's a good one. Wait, know. is it Jones or is it James? Uh, oh, right. Sorry, there was a smudge. It's James. Alabama, Alabama James. Al Alabama James and the unforgotten uh, garage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like right, that's over. Movie. I'll just put this on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually the other way around. It's da 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 da. Da 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 one, uh, so Dracula number two flies over to Mercury and brings him a thermos that has a uh, a straw on the top, very nice and metal, and looks very sterile, like it's been washed for a good five minutes. <laughs> Mercury grabs it and says, "Thank you." Yeah, I have grabbed it from. He leans it. Grabbed it from his stash. <laughs> Renegade leans down with Sebastian. Put it one thing at least. I guess they're good at being butlers. Uh, I'm gonna go help him with the bathroom. Oh god, like it's them. horrible out here! <laughs> Do you think they've got that? I think they've got it. <laughs> Can Dream on just say they won't have it? Reads <laughs> up. On the contrary, Mr. Mercury, I have faith in them! <laughs> That's how you screw in a light bulb, right? I don't know how to screw in a light bulb. Okay. How know many how bats does it take to screw in a light bulb? The answer okay, is three. five. You're one short of a full flock. No, the answer is you always need another bat. <laughs> and we're always out of bats. Oh, God. I mean, I could go grab me. my bat from Sebastian's room. Oh, God, this is driving me absolutely batty right now. I knew you were going to say, say that. that. You gotta say with the jokes, we're really bad in a hundred. <laughs> God damn it. You, you can really tell you two are related when you say stuff like that. Yeah, oh, it's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> but who started it? Look, I may hate his guts half the time, but he also makes a pretty good joke here and there. Oh, uh, by the way, did you take care of that... Uh... Sebastian, yeah. Sebastian, Sebastian. Yeah. You, who did not start it? Who was on first? Who is not up to bat? Okay, but... Is it, uh, but, okay, wait. But who's pitching, then? No, who's on first? Okay, but who's pitching? That's what well, I'm asking! You're not supposed to stop. This isn't funny when you do the skit right in front of us. Stop it. <laughs> you defeat the whole point. Literally centuries-old comedy. Yeah. Yeah, so what good. he said. Yeah, so she good. points at Bagolchi. Seriously, listen to your friend more. My God, I was. Yeah. I, I guess I take back that good jokes statement. My fucking God. He holds out like a fist to um, Renegade for a fist bump. Renegade almost breaks his arm. Next oh, to oh God, that hurts. Oh, Renegade, a little softer. I'm so sorry. Any damage would be enough to KO Sebastian at this point. This movie sucks. These fights are totally fake. Yeah, uh, oh, wait, if you want fights, the fucking bat flies over and goes into his sister's room. Oh, no. Shh, 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 what's it doing? <laughs> it's looking for a movie in there. Yeah, you want to bring out one of the hardcore anime that she definitely has in there? Oh, definitely. Hell yeah, bring it out. <laughs> he just pulled no. out Madoka Magica. That's <laughs> not, <laughs> not at all what I was thinking, but okay. No, we'll he just scratches his head. He's like, what does it say? Uh, yeah, I, th I think the uh, I think the label on this got smudged again. What does it say? Oh, hang on. Uh, he uh, the soul tracker kind of wipes it with the uh, with the cloak and it's like flashes so Grace could see it. Oh, why'd you bring that out? Uh, which one is it, Grace? Juggernaut. It's the bad 3D remake. Oh God, the why did you bring it? 3D one. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't know you bought that. I oh. someone lied to me and said it was good. <laughs> mm, that was not me. Trust me, I have better taste than that. Blech. <laughs> so, uh, what's you two guys' story? I've, uh, I mean, I live with these two pretty much. Renegade lives on my couch. Um, what are you, what are you two about? Co-workers, but don't get the wrong idea. Not professional in the slightest. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of Mercury is the most professional one here. <laughs> Straightens bow tie and looks at Renegade. I'm a professional. Yes, yes, you are, and you're very good at what you do. As long as I don't get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you even help me. It's <laughs> very nice of you. It's no. very nice of all. <laughs> Number one, like, as they're talking about... Uh, Mercury just kind of like imitates finger guns. She's like, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's making me die. <laughs> I think I am. Um, I'm real sorry about this. This was not my choice. I could have chosen any better anything. The actual live. They, they made a Juggernaut version <clears throat> recently, like two years ago. It's really good. Way better than this 3D bullshit. Anyway. You a, it was the best thing I could find in your room. It's in there! It's on the next shelf below it! Fine, I'll go get that then! Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna cycle You're through so many no moments. Hey. Uh, we should probably go check on the thing in my room, like we were talking about. Yeah. What are you guys yeah. checking on? It's business stuff. We gotta go over something, the two of us. Yeah, yes. That's why we're here as well. Yeah, is you it, too relax. What? Well, I don't know. It's just that when you blatantly lie to my face like that, it's kind of annoying. I didn't lie. Renegade's business. gonna place a hand on Grace's shoulder, and she's gonna be like, she's gonna be like, serious stuff, work stuff, dream it's bullshit, serious? and I'm the only one oh. here who takes drugs. Really? Yeah. <sighs> okay. And if something happens to me, I need at least two people here to restrain me. And I don't want to put you in that position. Hmm. Okay? She gets kind of nervous with Renegade's hand on her shoulder. Alright. I'm not... Renegade pulls her in for a hug. <laughs> I know you're strong, but... She's sweating buckets. Yeah, yeah, sure, mm-hmm. <laughs> but also, sis, um... Just in case her heart stops, I need to be able to start it again. What? No that question. is a thing that happened. What the fuck What's are you guys else? doing? Oh, you know, Jonah had a heart attack at one point because of bullshit. Uh, uh well, okay, okay, you need my help to stop a heart attack? No. Oh, no, I've got it. And what am He's I doing? You're just gonna sit here and relax with the others. I don't agree with that. I'm sorry, if you need help, I'm not, I'm not just gonna simply sit here if you need help. Yeah? Yeah, she's a smart one. Thank you, Butler. Vampire. We've got the Golgi and we've got Mercury. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Right. Well, you are really good at uh, neglecting help when you need it, Sab. So. Right. Yeah. Too much help muddies the waters. That too. <sighs> one hormone user is all that's needed, probably, sis. All right, sure. But just keep me on standby. I'm not just gonna sit out here and kick up my feet while I wanna use dying you are in the right other down room. the hallway. Don't consider yourself as you a will hear Just consider yelling. yourself as a backup. Right. Yeah, stand by. Just like me. <laughs> stand by. <laughs> Grace I'm punches done. Jonah I'm... through the ethereal. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't like my joke. Come on. Get on oh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. What are you, number number one? I'm number one! <laughs> okay. Oh, let me just grab one of them water over here. Number Mercury two. Mercury stands up and looks around. This is quite an experience. Yeah, you get used to it. Our house is a little chaotic. Dream on, you can go back in the monocle now if you wish. Okay! Oh. Wait, I should probably... I should ask... <laughs> Renegade, should we ask Dream on? I pat him on the head before he disappears. Thanks, Mr. Mercury. Should we ask Dream on if this is going to be a bad idea, Renegade? This is a bad idea no matter what. True. Is Bagolzi coming along or is he staying in the room? 
Uh, but Gilgi's just sitting back. <laughs> He'll Grace hear the screaming. Grace is gonna have awkward small talk with Bagolji. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm here too. Do you want something to drink, Mer- you guys? Mercury looks at, around at the place and says, Yeah, this is definitely Sebastian's room. <laughs> it's funny. Wait a second, why am I in here with two Haman users? Just in case. <laughs> Renegade just like uh, places a hand uh, towards uh, him. Uh, yes, uh, you have uh, fallen for my trap, clearly. <laughs> Yeah, this was clearly your... Clearly uh, all all my idea, Mercury. You're neglecting my power! (laughs) (laughs) Well, actually, that actually is a good idea for you to be here, because if I can't start her heart, maybe you can. I mean, is that something you could do? I feel like Golgi might be able to better. I feel like, yeah, but Golgi probably would be better. Mortal support? Mortal support. Mortal support. <laughs> mortal support. What? I said mortal support. Did, did my did my list but my <laughs> come out? Stop. I could have why I said moral. I'll oh. stay here for moral support. Thank you. Look over his books. He's got lots of fancy books. Renegade's gonna pull out the the dream pills that she bought. <laughs> immortal <laughs> support. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Number Good. two is like fluffing the pillows and like making the bed all comfy. It's like, okay, here you go, nice and comfortable for you, boss. Yep, thanks. She's gonna pop the pill. Not all no right. warning, just gonna take it. Okay. Um. Before Renegade falls into sleep, I say, for the record, this is a terrible idea and I don't like it. Ooh. Do I see everyone? Yeah, you do. You wake back up, Renegade, and... Oh, everyone's Here's frozen. <sighs> We're just gonna stand in front of this frozen Sebastian. Look him in the face and... Kinda smile, sadly. <laughs> this is probably a bad idea, but... And she places a hand on his cheek, just like... We'll be okay. And then she's gonna go over to the window. Okay. Open it up! Not alone! (laughs) From behind you. She appears. Fuck up! Yes. We Hi. are not alone. Um. Yeah. Are you hurt? I. I don't know what to say. Um. I did come here with an intention. Speak easily. Do you know someone named June... Rachel? Rachel... Rachel Crod? I... think I know this name. I have seen it on a tag. Do you know where she is? She is... safe. Are you her stand? What is a stand? Yeah, that makes sense. (sighs) Do you protect her? In a way... What are you getting at Renegade Sticks? Her friend wants us to help find her, and save her if we can. She may be safe, but... You cannot find her. You are not allowed to find her. Why? You would hurt her. How would I hurt her? 
she needs to be protected. From what? From Electros. Why Electros? What's in Electros that would hurt? She needs to be protected from Electros. What if I do want to protect her from Electros? You cannot go to her renegade sticks. I cannot allow that. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you? Hmm. Do you know where Star Road is? She tilts her head. No. Well, it was worth a shot. My friends and I are trying to find Star Road now. Kind of seems to be our next mission. Thank you for listening. You have not stated what you need from me yet. I just needed to talk to you. Talking won't heal wounds. Well, someone listening is always helpful in the aid of healing. Are you saying you do not need my help? I would appreciate it. What can I do, then? I'm... I'm tired. Would you like to go to sleep, Benedict Stick? For a little while. That is not hard. Thank you. Sleep well. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I talk to Grace for a minute? Hell yeah, you can. Because, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Renegade's gonna be zonked out on this. On this, uh, little thing, and we'll have a little Begolgy moment. While this is going down in the other room, Grace and Begolgy. Alright, so Dracula. Yeah? I'm gonna go through a cannon. <laughs> oh God, Don't get me another one of those, Batman. Okay, jeez. The... <laughs> I don't care if it's the last one. Just keep looking around. There must be another one in there. Grace kind of chuckles. <laughs> I understand hey. why you're uh, Sebastian's friend. Uh-huh. Uh. Hey, Grace. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? I can tell something's on your mind. Do you want to know about what's going on? Wow. You're actually going to tell me? Hell yeah. I was just thinking that would be important that you know. In case That's... you ever had a run-in with... Not alone. I'm glad someone agrees. Alright, that name, first and foremost. <laughs> what is that? Okay, well... Let's start off with a little bit of a disclaimer. I don't want to freak you out here, but... You have a stand of your own, which means... It's already too late, and you're involved. I've spent the entire past day cleaning up my apartment after it's eaten everything in sight. I think I'm more than ready. I was just thinking about it. You've got your own stand. You're so closely related to Sebastian. Mm. It seems almost inevitable to me that you'll have a run-in with Not Alone. Okay. Okay. So what do I need to know? So let's begin. Not Alone is a rogue stand. Not much unlike your own. Oh, great. Is this like a bad news one? Like, real bad? Kind of like a neutral bad. Anyway, her main thing is appearing in people's dreams or in their sleep. Have you heard of sleep paralysis? Yeah. Have it's kind of like that, except that you're not paralyzed. It's just everybody else is. Well, that's weird. 
Yeah, tell me about it. And what I've, are you supposed to do? I've never gone through it myself. Uh, well, not alone. There's a ghastly white figure, which is said to appear at a window. Mm hmm. Let's see. They will not stop tapping on the window until they are let in. We must do so. Do I have to let them in? I... <sighs> Maybe you do, maybe you don't. You don't know? We're just uh, trying to piece together how she works entirely. Mm. Anyway, her standability is that she can administer you with a seemingly unending uh, supply of drugs, any drug. Well, fuck, okay. This, of course, can be hardly dangerous. Yeah, unless you know how to handle an interaction with Nala alone. Did not show any of aggression. That was Jonah's mistake. That was when his heart nearly stopped. He got drugged so his heart stopped? I don't quite remember all the details, but I'm pretty sure she overdosed him on something. Mm. Anyway. Just as long as you're careful with what you say, you should be fine. Well, thanks for telling me this. Mm. It'd be too dangerous if I didn't. Yeah, no shit. Gives like a stink eye down the hall. Oi, Batman, you got my drink yet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here you go. Uh, puts it on the table in front of a Golgi. And if you're done with that, I actually was going to talk to Mercury about something, too. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to get zonked out right. on the bed. All right. It looks like she's okay. And Sebastian's going to spend a bizarre point. Oh. As he pulls out of his bag and multiple baggies, along with wrapped up in some paper... And uh -oh. sets down the arrow. Sebastian? Yeah? I'm gonna stop you right here. You oh, no. taking the arrow out of that room is... not possible. Oh. So unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna have okay. to rescind this action of yours. Alright! Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I don't, the way you looked at that arrow and the way you spoke about it, should we leave it with them? Should we be worried? What can you tell me about it? Hmm. The farther anyone stays away from that thing, the better. Well, you saw what it did to that stand. That... Yeah, I did. But... That makes me a little... Well... If it can do that to a stand, what happens if a person touches it? Do you know that? No. I have to tell you? <laughs> Okay, yes. the arrow, two things can happen. If the person doesn't have a stand, two things can also happen. If they don't have a stand. Basically, you shoot the person with the arrow. If they don't die, it gives them a stand. If they do die, they're dead. However, if a person who already has a stand touches the arrow, two things can happen. The arrow can enter their body and like completely disadvantage them and destroy them. Or, the arrow can help them. Unlock new abilities for their stands, etc. Alright, cool. It's an arrow that gives people stands. It varies depends on her, how Zoraki's feeling. It really varies depending <laughs> on how Araki is feeling that day, yeah. So wait, you're telling me it can make stands? Yeah, and they aren't the stands like I look down to my pocket like Dream On. They're full-on stands. So you're just saying that that might be how... But I never got shot by an arrow. It it varies. Some people are born with them. Oh, it, you were born with I, it, Sebastian. Yeah, you didn't get it from it. an arrow, you would know. Well, also, it only gives you a stand sometimes. If you're not strong enough, you die. Makes sense. And if someone who already has a stand, it can either help them unlock further abilities with their stands, make them more powerful. 
or it can... Well, I feel like it's pretty obvious what the downside would be. Kill them? Mm, yeah, basically. <sighs> kind of like leans against the wall, looks over at Renegade again, and... Dracula number two is just like keeping tabs on her. He's okay, boss! Right. Uh, Mercury, do you think it would be a bad idea to tell my sister what we're doing? I think that telling her in itself wouldn't be bad, but anyone finding out that you told her would be bad. I kind of... I want her to be able to defend herself, but I also want to get her out of Electros. Yeah, Rhapsody doesn't exactly seem like a, a stand that is good with... Um, how shall I say... Sudden battles. Yes. <sighs> Why don't we go talk to them? We can mm. tell them a little bit and tell her... No, not a little. I need to tell her everything. <sighs> Renegade looks like she'll be fine. Yes, and number two is keeping an eye on her. She's sleeping happily right now. Yeah. <laughs> She's needed a fucking break. It's a renegade break. Renegade's got a real bed tonight. Holy shit. Achievement unlocked. Real bed. <laughs> yeah. Renegade's no longer like, homeless. I feel like Sebastian <laughs> constantly tries to go like, just use my bed. I can sleep on the couch. And <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so... So that should leave Soul Dracula at number two in there. Just like, all right, keep an eye on her and alert me if anything happens. Let's go talk to the others. Also, I won't tell anyone what you told me. <laughs> Good. Less people that know that part is yes. just better. That's... We need to keep that thing hidden and all that. Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully, Don keeps a good grip on it. Yes, the police department seems like a place where it would be safer than well, say this apartment or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh. How are you two doing out here? You guys uh, having fun? <laughs> mm, he doesn't like anything I play. <laughs> That's What's fun. Are they? Waving around little twigs. <laughs> they're called katanas, and they're cool. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Sebastian picks up the remote and pauses it. Uh, Grace, we need to have a talk. Yeah? About what? I don't want you to stay in Electros anymore, but it's Whoa. honestly... Uh, what now? It's up to you whether or not you want to stay. Sorry, Sebastian, but I kind of live here. I don't know why you're suggesting this out of nowhere. He uh, plops on the chair next to her. And um, I'll get to why I don't want you to be here anymore. I'm going to tell you everything. Everything, everything? Everything. She narrows her eyes. You sure about that? Everything that I'm allowed to tell you. And some of the stuff I shouldn't. Okay, for the sake of this conversation, we're gonna do Cliff's notes of what you tell her. Uh, everything that's led up to this moment, he's gonna leave out the arrow bit, obviously. He's definitely gonna tell her that, yeah, Jonah has an uncle. She's gonna have a lot of... Honestly, she's gonna take it pretty well. She's gonna nod. Flat, flat face for the most part. Laugh at a few of the things you say that are silly. You know, the expected. I uh, believe I told you this before, but I nearly blew myself. I did blow myself up with a uh, Haman bubble. Sab, you really need to be careful with that shit. Trust me, I've decided I'm going to try to be a little bit more careful. Uh. So you guys are in some serious shit, huh? Yeah. And that's why I don't want you here anymore. You remember how I've been saving up? Still don't follow, Sab. <sighs> Line of logic you... doesn't fall in... too well. 
I, I'm just worried that somebody might try to hurt you. You're all I got left besides Mom, and well, we know how that has been. Hey, I've got a funny idea then. What's that? Let me join you. <sighs> yes, badass Grace. Do you think you could control Rhapsody? Hell no, but I want to be on, you know, the side of the people who know what's going on, rather than the sit-at-home completely worthless side. He's gonna hold up a finger, and he's gonna dial Dawn. Oh, Dawn's gonna beat the shit out of us. <laughs> you dial Dawn, you hear in the background the yells and the bombastic sounds of Edwin. She's like, one, one moment, one, 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 one. Edwin, 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 shut the fuck, Edwin. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, hi, what's up? <laughs> Let's hope that his stand doesn't work over long distances. <laughs> Probably doesn't. Don's on the one. Yeah, yeah, Sebastian, uh, what's up? Yes, uh, Miss Polinar, if, uh, do you have any openings? Openings? Uh, custodial clerk? No, Why? no, I mean, something my sister could do to help us out. Sister? I mean, that isn't my choice. I could call up the client if you want. Alright. If you could do that for us. I think it's time that... Hell, is your sister a stand or something? ...comes into the fold. You gonna answer that? Is your sister a stand user or something? Yes. Uh, she has a... Well, it's better if she says it, probably. Alright, I'm putting us on a group call. Put, 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 me, put me on speaker. <clears throat> she calls Jonah. <laughs> You've been on speaker this whole time. Oh, great, cool. Hello? Normally people tell me that. Yeah, hi, Jonah, um, Dawn speaking. Paul Nareff, um, we've got a situation- Sebastian, explain. Uh, hey, Jonah. I say hi, everyone! Hello, everyone! Hello, we talked before. We can hear you oh, loud Grace. Clear, Jonah. What can I help you with? I was wondering. Think we could bring my sister on on this? <coughs> what? <laughs> you know she's... Okay. Sebastian, you know that this is extremely dangerous, yes? Give me the I fucking do. phone. <laughs> here you go! Look here, you goody two-shoes dandy. I can more than handle myself, so I would like you to know that yes, I'm perfectly fine with going on a dangerous mission. That's not the problem. How willing you are is not what I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. What bullies. you were- mm -hmm. You just became a STAM user. You mm -hmm. zero practice with them. Mm -hmm. Why did we call him again? Are you sure you'll be up for this? Okay, the alternative is not going, and that's a much worse alternative. Let me tell you. <laughs> he puts a hand on her shoulder. Don, you're Thanks. a brave woman. And I can tell uh, brave. no matter what mm -hmm. I- yeah, mm -hmm. No, no, I think the word to use for that is I am a patient woman because my lord. Yes, you are. <sighs> yeah. I can tell that whatever I say you. won't matter. If you think, if you wish to come along, I can't stop you. And that is how you get yourself a promotion! She does finger guns to Sebastian! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jonah, I will say, she has been trained by Renegade and myself. Fucking so. slams the pop a pep hat down on the floor. <laughs> oh, 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 I am fucking quitting! <laughs> okay. Oh my. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, Mer Mercury says, well, anything's better than being in the employee of that living greaseball. Sis? Yeah. What is that? You you should at least give him two weeks' notice. Okay, fair. But come on, it's fun. I had to. I, had it, to, I, had to I do know. That. I don't want to. I'm. I'm. I'm <laughs> if the alternative is kicking the ass of some super supernatural bad guys or working at a pizza place, why would you choose? <laughs> he ruffles her hair. Honestly, I choose something a lot better than dying all the time. Oh, also, you should check on the bookstore because um. I think they got a special order in. They were calling our place, and I didn't know how to help them at all. It's fine, I can take care of that. I forgot Sebastian ran a bookstore. <laughs> yep. He does. I still Jonah. run my morgue. 
Jonah. Actually, Hi. Uh, you are done. Could you get uh, Speedwagon to get me an employee for that place? Employee uh, for what place? My bookstore. What What do you uh. want an employee for that place for? Well, we got on mission, so I can have someone else oh, run it. Oh, 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 that's what you can I mean, I could, but can't you hire, handle your own hiring? Yeah, but Speedwagon's pretty good at it. Just put it in that at the temp agency. They can give you someone in a, in a moment. No, I'm right next to him. He's already he's he's already booking someone. Oh my god. Yup. Yeah. I don't you he just would. had to mention it to him. Right. He can hear you. Well, You're also on speaker. That's impressive. Yeah. Well, I guess that's everything on our end. Unless anyone else has anything they want to say. <sighs> oh, good. Um, I guess we'll see you in the morning. We're gonna discuss Star Road stuff. Yes. Do you work at Papa Peps tomorrow, Chris? Yeah, I do. Just right, look. It... Okay, okay, okay. I'll come after hours. All right. I was gonna say, give him your two <laughs> weeks tomorrow. No, no, pa Papa's a Papa Peps a good guy. I wouldn't do that to him. Guy. He's also a stand user himself. What? <laughs> You didn't tell me that part. Oh, Genuine yeah. shock. I forgot. Uh, I thought I put that in the story. Is this some sort uh, of a secret agency thing going on? What the fuck? I don't even know what his stand fully is. I just saw him okay. there one moment, and should then I the next she was I gone. ask him about that? I'd say no. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, by the way, uh, your name is... Oh, um, Don Polnareff. Right, uh, Grace Seppeli, um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, she's like, no, no problem, you chewed him out better than I ever could have. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why do you think I gave the phone over? Yeah, no kidding. I'm glad I still have ears. <laughs> hey. Right, I'm gonna you hang up. Go yes, I was gonna say, you two get some good rest. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And Jonah! Peace. Have Hi. fun on your date! I'm sorry, what? He hangs up the phone. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I thought... Uh, he is so dense, isn't he? Can I get a warden, please? A what? Can I get a warden, please? A warden? Can I talk for a minute? Yes. Okay, so... It's about Jonah. Grace... I know that you may not like him, because, well... Jonah can be Jonah sometimes. No, I don't hate him. He's just kind of a total uh, dandy. <laughs> yes, and uh, now that you're working alongside us, I um, have to humbly ask you to look past that. Oh, don't he worry. He truly is concerned for us. I can be Not civil. just you, all of us. I can he be has civil. a way to be. He's the client, yeah. Yep. Yeah, no. I can I can be civil. Just as long as you know fully what you're going into. We got some serious guts. <laughs> well, I'm aware yeah. that the alternative is horrible and Hey, if I'm not cut out for the action, I'll just throw in the towel in a few weeks and we'll go with Sebastian's plan, okay? Yeah, and honestly, my plan was just to send you off to college, wherever you wanted. Hmm. Are you serious? After all this, I'm given the choice between sitting down and ignoring everything like it's all okay. You choose to stand up and face death. <laughs> he gives Sebastian yeah. a hug. Like, you're really sweet, you know that? He kind of hugs her back. I mean, you're kind of the last bit of family I've got left. <laughs> Damn it, why'd I have to get stuck with you as the family that I have left? <laughs> <laughs> she smiles, that's... still hugging him. <laughs> I guess I'm just resilient. Yeah, like that cockroach in the corner that won't die. <laughs> she is a uh, very... She's a lot stronger than I am. Hell. I know, I'm, uh... I used to be a gang member. I'm not supposed to show any weaknesses or anything. But even this whole thing scares the crap out of me. 
Hey, do you want part of a gang? Which one? Mm. <laughs> I kind of like pull out my collar. Over. Turtle mix. I uh, I look at Bagolji. Imagine Bagolji in a leather jacket holding a baseball bat and just say, "Yeah, I can see it." I, I honestly thought you were gonna say something like the sixty-four bits or something. That's something nerdy. Kind of, yeah. What? He's smart. <laughs> These two are some of the smartest people I know. Oh, I'm not discrediting him. I'm saying the gang's bad news. Hmm. Wait, the Turtle Mix? Uh, you yeah. don't have to worry about them anymore. Are they not around anymore or something? Uh, they disbanded years ago. Oh. Hmm. What happened? Uh, yeah, Sebastian, it's kind of funny that you assumed that I was always a big geek, a nerd, a person who always uses the brain. What, are you saying that you used to be a jock or something? Where are my gang days, yes. Sebastian kind of like stops for a moment and just imagines like a buff Bagolji. <laughs> with a turtle neck. Bagolji, the frailest buff member Golgi. of the team, buff why Golgi. yes? It's Bagolji. Buff Golgi. Buff Golgi. <laughs> Thankfully, after all of that nonsense was over with, a certain uh, Shangdi helped me out and helped me realize my true self. Hmm. Who's this Shangdi person? Hmm. Gang leader, actually. Oh, really? Big deal? Yeah. <sighs> she was one of the ones who uh, was still around when the gang disbanded. Is she still around now? Uh, yes. Yes, in fact. But... I've been kindly requested to not tell where. That's fine. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you think Dang that stuff. Yeah. That's ever. Do you think that she might actually be able to help us at some point, though? I doubt she'd want to. That's fair. Anyway, I'd rather not burden my mind with all these days come to pass. <laughs> Sorry about that. How did your little session go? She seems to be resting quietly right now, so... I assume that she's fine. I'm glad that I was actually able to make her sleep in the bed for once. But I think, uh, honestly, it might be getting time to turn in unless you all want to stay around and... I think I actually have a gangster movie if you want to watch it. The <laughs> Goldie. <sighs> I could use a good laugh. Alright. Do you want to know what it's called? Oh. It's called The Grandmother. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, that actually does sound a little bit like Shandy. It might be better than I expect. <laughs> Sebastian, like, reaches under the table and pulls out The Grandmother, hands it over. Was Shandy a grandmother mm. in your uh, work? It's kind of funny. I was working with her for years and I can. Never seem to uh, remember a time where she wasn't a little more of a grandmother figure. Yeah, that's funny. Renegade shushes the number two behind her. It, it salutes. And goes back into the bathroom to help. A grandmother in charge of a crime syndicate. Yeah, I know, right? It's awesome. This one again. Oh, oh. hello, Renegade. Morning. <laughs> Wait, is it still like... Hi, oh, fuck, what it's time is it? Nice. It's like... Damn it. Mm. They... Ren. 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 They told me everything. Good, I was gonna do that anyway. Even if Sebastian said no, so like... <laughs> you guys are all heroes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, would, I wouldn't call myself that. Uh, by the way, I wouldn't Renegade. call myself that either. Uh, I wouldn't call myself oh, that either. Oh, do you want? I talked to her. <laughs> um, hold on. Oh. Oh. oh she's gonna go get a soda. Chugs it. <laughs> you talked to her? Yeah. Talked to her. She's. She know who's. She knows. Who Rachel is? She knows where Rachel is. She says we can't go help Rachel. She says she needs to go hide her, or she needs to be hidden from Electros, or saved from Electros, something like that. Um, 
Ah, and anything about Star Road? She doesn't know where Star Road is. She doesn't really even seem to know what Star Road is. Yeah, that's fantastic. I told her... Uh, fuck. And then she made me sleep really well, so I feel great. That's good, <laughs> but... This Wait. is probably really weird for Mercury and Begolgi to see me not in my, like... Hype mode? After this I've is had... extremely weird. It's great. Yeah, Ren, Ren toss, me a, to toss me a Dr. Crush. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> she chucks it through the curtain. Hell yeah, she Take grabs fast. the Dr. Crush. She grabs the Dr. Crush out of the air. Yeah, that's also... Uh, by the way, Renegade? Mm. Grace is putting her two weeks notice in with Papa Pep. Finally! Puts she... two thumbs up. I'm moving up in the business ladder, by which I mean I'm becoming a mercenary. Did you tell Jonah? Hell yeah, I told Jonah. Did you she... tell him off? That's yeah. exactly what she did. You think I'm Renegade just gonna let like... some yeah. fucking guy walk all over me like that? No. Renegade, like, cartwheels over the table and goes <laughs> to high five. <laughs> Grace, like, <laughs> hell yeah, she high fives Renegade. Jonah is a can of worms and a half. <laughs> he's a time and a half, and I'm not even getting paid time and a half. I think he's just the can. <laughs> hey, like, you're too harsh on him. <laughs> Jonah did just pay us a mill or something like that. Really? He's less of a can. But, uh... You know, uh, Sebastian, I've been thinking. Yes? I basically live here. We really need to upgrade. <laughs> I do agree. Upgrade? Uh, Bigger apartment. Well, yes. Oh. Uh, definitely. Because I slept on a bed, and holy fuck do I miss it. I, hey, I've been trying to get you to sleep on no, that bed for a while. No, not sleeping on the goddamn couch. Two minutes of renegade in a bed already renegade. I, I never want to leave this. <laughs> I, I have an idea. All right, hear me out on this. He texts Jonah. Oh. Think you could hook up with good apartment, three bedroom or more? Are you doing what I think you're doing? I think for... he's doing exactly what you I think. Just... Yeah, he is. I know he is. I just... Uh... Actually asking for help for once? Yeah, I'm really proud of you. Who the fuck are you, and what have you done with Sebastian? I mean... It has been... Fuck, how old am I? Old. <laughs> it's been like nine years! Ren, are you okay? That's not something most people just ask at your age. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Like it's something that they ask at my age. Uh, Renegade, aren't oh, you, like you two years older than me? I'm two years younger than you. Know, you. you don't look older than 20, Mercury. Mm, I'm 46. I moisturize. What? He's not <laughs> 46. <laughs> There's no bad. way in hell you're 46. I'm doing a text back. <laughs> Sebastian's just laughing at the, the phone. Uh, <laughs> Mercury, should we tell, like, oh, god damn it. Uh, look, look at this, guys. He, he's also under the same impression. Yeah, it's Who because... are you? It's been nine years and you still have it, and you just gave up the vampire thing. I'm really fucking Sebastian, confused. Sebastian, are you coming down with a fever? You're asking for help. That's not something you normally do. Wait, you gave up the vampire thing. Do we need to yeah, change names too. again? Do you need help? I can, I can help you. I, I'm fine. You don't we realize. We are here for you. She grabs right again. We... <laughs> and they both like staring at him. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you real here in the doghouse, aren't you, master? I hate you right now. Do you need a back grab? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch this movie. We're not gonna be interrupted by the goddamn bats. I love you, soul Dracula, but... God. I'm just gonna call him Act 2. Movie? Then we can go to bed, and yeah. then we deal with... Oh my god, Sebastian, you really are good at sending this life course on a fucking whirlwind, but hell yeah, let's move out. Sure, let's go be mercenaries. Sure, I don't have any life direction anymore. <laughs> Drinks the Dr. Crush. Hey, yeah, I mean, look at me, I'm like... <laughs> 
Yeah, but you're I cool. I don't know what I'm doing with I'm... <laughs> hey, Mercury, would you call me cool? Uh... Come on, she's fucking cool! Oh, go hang upside down from the rafters. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that. Cool. Are, are there any rafters? Of course there are. <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> of Find course there are. Watch this, Grace. Watch what? I'm just expecting you to disappear into the rafters. I have no idea what could you give you that opinion. I go into the rafters. No, you may think house. that we. No, we don't have rafters. <laughs> we don't. How did he do that? This is a, this is an eight foot tall apartment. Room. How how? He's a magic. He's. You'll understand. I expect well, the is that your stand making rafters. <laughs> That's what I was about Grace to say. Grace is shaking. Grace is shaking. Grace monologues. This ability, this stand, does it allow him to create rafters anywhere? No. That's incorrect. <gasps> she's shaking, Sebastian. <gasps> she, she steps back. He's got two stands, actually. Did we explain that to her? Uh, he sure has that. two? I can't Maybe recall that. Yeah. four, so... <laughs> Two I... completely different ones. Technically, uh, we're all the same entity. Really? Do you all have the same brain? Yes. I mean... <laughs> she hears from the bathroom, KIND OF! Uh -huh. I think that settles out, yeah. This, of... I just realized something. This has hmm. to be Mercury's worst nightmare. Hmm. He's What's in a room that? with three Haman users. Does he not I mean... like Haman? I still don't get that. Why doesn't he like Haman? It's a long story. Allergic reactions. He's allergic to it? He's just think that could happen. Just don't go around saying it, it's a bit embarrassing. Sorry, sorry, I didn't I didn't know. <laughs> Mercury says, uh, it's it's alright. Um one of my stands is autonomous like looks at the bat and uh Rhapsody. You might have seen him earlier, the TV face. Yeah, I remember him. He's adorable. He was loud and screamy. <laughs> He's a treat. I quite like him. Well, you're keeping but... him, right? Of course. Okay, I... so who the hell decided you get to have two stands? Uh, Jorgen. His, his employer? Oh, yeah, okay. basically. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Sebastian, your phone's going off. Yep, I'm... <laughs> Trying to check it. Oh, apparently Who decided he's decided you get to have two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, Jonah has uh, a place over on Soul Street. Apparently, it's Soul got Street? a penthouse. Soul yeah. Street. Are you fucking kidding me? Soul Street. Uh, apparently, that's like, Jonah. That's like the posh of the posh. What? It's Jonah. He is part he's of our real estate. Oh my god. Yeah. Apparently, okay, he's I don't got the regret penthouse. it. Good. Bye, 13B. It's been good knowing your 13C. Fuck, I forgot about the floor. I thought this was 3C. 31? I don't remember the number. Rip. <laughs> I think it was Eridor Street, yeah? Goodbye, Eridor Street. Hello, soul. <laughs> Apparently, uh, it's the penthouse suite. It's got enough room for the three of us, and he occasionally Aww. goes there to work out as a safe house in case shit went south. Oh, uh, my God. Apparently, hmm. he's, he says that it's open to us if we need it. What is hmm. this? It's like my life is getting a million times better and worse all at the same time. I don't know what to think. <laughs> Trust me, I'm trying to kind of come to terms with this. Wait. He... Shit, would they let me have my he gun called... in there? <laughs> they will if he... runs the place. They I will mean... if you... They will if they don't find out. I that is like true. how you I'm sorry think. To put it. <laughs> you have a concealed carry license, don't you? What? You should, you should text Jonah to make it a funny response. <laughs> okay, Sebastian wait, wait, wait. Sends another text to Don. Can you get my sister a concealed carry license? Don text back. No, fuck! You have to do that in person, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you called. Jonah, and you filled him in on Grace, or well, you told him that Grace is joining us. Did you tell Don? 
Oh yeah, I called her first, and she put us Did in a Did you ask for a supply of scrap metal? Uh, Shit, I forgot that. Text. Text Jonah again. He's with the speed wagon. I thought that would be the first thing you think. Yeah, I'm... if Jonah works out there, he's going to have to worry about if his weights are going to go missing. Yup. Well, I mean, if we're going to live there now, I think he'll probably take the weights out. Hmm. I don't know, we could kind of use it as, like, a Haman training zone. Ren, I know you were trying to teach me how to do, like, your signature moves and stuff, but I'm... I don't know. I want to I want to practice it a little more, honestly. Yeah, we can... Training Hell session. Hell yeah. Alright, Sebastian. Yes? I thought you said this was a gang movie. It... it is, it's... And why are they dealing drugs? <laughs> They deal in politics, I think. I don't know. I don't. Wanna, I never pay attention to this movie. We've watched no, it like no, a they, time. they deal with drugs. You just have to wait to get past the first uh, little bit. Screw this. This is horribly inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of what happens. I mean, I can always tell you the story about what happened when <laughs> guide and I met. Oh, is that is that what we're going to do? Is that what we're doing tonight? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I mean, if he wants to hear a good gang story... Fuck. What, what I better beat up like tell? seven guys. Apparently, Jonah's offering to let us use his metalics, but uh, nah. yeah, kind of told him how you feel about that stuff. Yeah, just order it online. I can help. It's so much easier. All right. Anyway, uh, um, wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm. 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 I'm up with talking for you guys. For all, my words aren't working right. What I'm trying to say is, this is the most interesting conversation I've had in months, so I don't want it <laughs> to end. You got any coffee around here? Still? Num number one! Oh my god, yes! right? you have butlers. You have butlers! I love it! That... Why were they all in the bathroom? Oh, that's easy. Yeah. They were trying to whack on a, a little bit of a Num sleep issue. Number one, could you make me a Bailey's and coffee? Wash oh, yeah. your hands first. Don't worry, I will. By the way, the toilet needs to be replaced. What? Uh, the faucet on the sink is okay. Fuck. It's a uh, okay, uh, leaving. <laughs> that, okay, but security it's... deposit. Mm, that is Points a point. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, whatever. Uh, da, da, da. We'll fix it. Hands. We'll fix it before we leave. Yeah. God. Uh, okay, this is interesting. I have to get used to this. Yeah, you don't have a wearable stand anymore. Oh, uh, I kind of miss the fangs. <laughs> you miss going blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Vampires Actually, don't go blah, blah, blah. I didn't <laughs> How would you blah, know? Blah, blah, you don't blah. seem the type to watch a vampire movie. Uh, he's actually more uh, like knowledgeable of the occult than I am. What? Yeah, <laughs> he is. Really? That seems impossible. Yeah, Sebastian's been outdone. Oh my god. Yeah. What, do you own oh, like an, an, an entire library chain? <laughs> what he works at a morgue. Oh, a morgue. a morgue! I get it now. Sebastian, it's <laughs> like your wet dream, yeah? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> my, uh, Jesus Christ, if you put it that way, it sounds weird. <laughs> it sounds weird regardless. Hey, did anyone else want coffee? I'm good, thank you, number one. Depends. But Golgi Mercury, do you want me to be your normal, or do you want me to be like this? Because I can, I can drink a cup of coffee and I can be back to my normal bouncing off the walls. Hi, yeah. So. Whichever. I don't, skip I don't know. You guys just seem weirded out by me being. No, both are nice. A person. <laughs> you sh you can keep being a person. That's I like fun. being a person sometimes. Being a person. It good. always scares people when I go from Haya to I'm an actual human being. <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know what? Get me some coffee as well, please. Got it. Seems like it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. It's a good night, though. I'm liking this. Don't we have work tomorrow? Yeah. We do, but we yeah. have work tomorrow, yeah. but who needs sleep when you've got. New friends and colleagues. Looks at my one of my watches. What time is it? 
late. Yeah, looking around. Right like two clocks. in the morning. Two in the morning, maybe. Yeah. It's getting late. I should really head off. Oh. oh. Uh, do you want a coffee to go, Bath? No. All right. <laughs> it was lovely doing this. We should do it in a day where we... Hey, you too. It was good meeting you. You as well. We should do this again when uh, we don't have work the next morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see you um later at work, so I guess. Know, you oh. don't need to get the door for me. That is only proper. <laughs> Gets the door Mercury anyway. Waves. Eh, yeah, she waves back. And uh, before Mer Bogolji leaves, Dracula is going to like get on his shoulder. And Sebastian's voice is going to come through and just, thanks for everything, Bogolji. It's only right. See you later, <laughs> Mr. Mercury. Nods. Mercury walks out. Bye, Soul Dracula! <laughs> Goodbye, Dream On! We can to... do stuff later! Definitely! Do they realize we can hear Dream On from all the way in here? I think they don't, but... <laughs> I like Mercury that one. Away. Uh, uh, go, go, uh, go intercept any noise complaints. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so good. I love this like domestic feeling. It's so good. It's really good. This is nice. We're friends and not. Just colleagues. <laughs> Soul Dracula comes back in and like, ah, I locked the door. The deadbolt is good. Uh, you might want to change the lock again. It looks like someone broke it. <laughs> oh no. Uh, did someone... Did you try to pick it again? <clears throat> no. Uh, it's okay. We've got the deadbolt still. We've got it was either that or have Rhapsody eat it. Oh. I thought he did for. Yeah, I thought he tried to for a moment. Nope. I stopped uh, him. You can good. call me the hero of downtown when it comes to that singular doorknob and nothing else. Oh, sis, give me your phone for a moment. What? Why? I'm, I'm going to record something. What? You saw what they were able to do earlier. With what? I'm so confused. You remember how Rhapsody disappeared after they did that little bat shot? <laughs> Are you recording fuck off into it? <laughs> I'm going to record fuck off into it. Oh my god, if that works <laughs> out, you're gonna be a lifesaver. Holy shit, she hands the phone over to him. Boys! I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I love them! Did it all just come through the wall like. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Got it, sir. <laughs> one of them starts snapping. <laughs> yeah, no, number one is like snapping his fingers like, all right, boys, from the top. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's going to record the fuck off thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love me some barbershop. <laughs> Thank you, Dr Soul Dracula. You're welcome. I really enjoy them. They're rather nice. Um, uh, Renegade is going to, now that people are gone, just like squeeze between these two, just like, <laughs> I love you guys. Grace just like, mm hmm. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> Having people over has now exhausted me, however. Yeah. It's also two in the morning. She's kind of tensing up slightly at the sudden close Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Ren, I think you've kind of earned the uh, bed for the night. No. Go on. No. You know I can just make you do it. I'm not sleeping in the bed if you're going to sleep on the couch. <laughs> I'll sleep on the ground. No, that's even worse. No, it's not. I have a futon. Put the rug in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> and if anything... Oh. Sebastian. Oh, what? <laughs> not sleeping on the bed. Come on. You need at least one good night rest. You deserve Sam, it. Sam, you can use my sleeping bag if you want. See, I can use the sleeping bag. 
It's your yeah. apartment. Renegade, it's our apartment. you deserve at least one good night's sleep. I'm with We're Sam moving. on this one. We are. And for tonight, you should sleep well. Exactly. It's better than me trying to fuse my... Hell, I don't even know if Sword Dracula still works that way now. We don't know if you can control me, huh? He's gonna have to take control of her. No, you're not in Act 1 currently. Uh, the goddesses... How do I... Ha! <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> take Sebastian <laughs> up. So Dracula kind of like floats over and lands on her head. Ha ha, you can't control her. <laughs> <laughs> So Dracula, control her for me. He's just going to throw him in his room. Hey. And then she's going to close the door. And uh, Grace is going to watch. Renegade, take a fucking night off for once. Oh my god. Hey. Don't mind the couch, Grace. Don't lock me in my own room. The lock's on the inside. You can unlock yourself. Renegade, seriously. If you need my room, you can use my bed. Or you're gonna just sit on the couch, okay. I'm gonna sit on the couch. I mean, you two can always sleep together. You're like sisters. Grace gives him a death stare. <laughs> Renegade doubles the death glare. Okay, okay, it was just an idea. Sorry, Back sorry. Back to the wall. Like but... you do. Oh. Okay. Do it. But... Come on. I will punch you through the wall. No, please. That would hurt. I know. Soul Dracula, you've been wonderful. Your 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 service was delightful. Now, good night. <laughs> if you need anything, just holler. That's how you get a butler to leave. Tell them they're good. Fair. <laughs> now go to sleep. Okay. <sighs> nah. I will carry you, too. I know. You can't beat me. I'm not losing. <laughs> <laughs> Renegade tickles Grace's sides. I swear. Her up. And Good night. Yeah, whatever. Freaking hobo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you met my parents. Yeah, I know. I understand. I'm gonna sleep, Ren. I'll try. Renegade sits on the couch. And doesn't sleep. In the park, Mercury sits Ooh. on the bench. Stands, probably. It's Mercury. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've got one missed call on your phone. Hmm. I... Is there a message? No. <laughs> I, uh... I call back. Phone rings for a moment. Rings and rings. Eventually it picks up, and on the other side, all you can hear is rain. <laughs> Distant thunder. Wow. Hello, Mackenzie. <laughs> Let me pull the two be continued in. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, guys! Today was a fucking good session. <laughs> oh my god! Big session Big energy. energy. Love it. Oh I my kind god. of figured Mackenzie wasn't dead. Yeah, He's I a kind vampire. of. I love you all say Jonah's dead with Mercedes as a stepsister. Stepsister. And this is that. Japan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love how, like, Sebastian is just like, really? It played for the big moment, it though. Did. That was good. amazing! Yeah, good, yeah, job. Really good. good job! Good job! Yeah. 
Round of applause all around. Amazing rest. job, Ooh. everyone! I don't know how to reward any of you! Fuck, that was amazing! <laughs> can I- okay. Uh, God, to dang. make things simple today, oh. if you don't mind, we can do nominations. Alternatively, I could just say four bizarre points to everyone, all around. I was yeah. really proud of me placing that Star Road now. <laughs> With how this yeah, episode was, went, yeah. this that episode was, was incredible. I had such a blast. Holy shit, yeah. guys. This one was a real good one. Yeah. I'm so excited mm. for next session for so many reasons. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the Grace and Renegade thing. I love it. It's adorable. Yes! <laughs> so, yeah. oh, we're gonna work. Oh, wow. But also, next time? Guess what? Next time happens after Lane Hopper's Season 2 starts. Yeah, that's right. Oh! That's right. Oh. Celebration time! Celebration! Ooh, ooh. Boy. Oh, We're doing God. it, guys! It's amazing! And imagine people watching this are like, but it's not over yet! <laughs> They're like, we just got the truth! <laughs> We just got the truth. Okay, we're going to seriously have to refrain from talking about plate hoppers from now yeah. on. We can't talk about plate hoppers in JoJo because, hey, here's a reference. Go watch plane hoppers, by the way. It's really fucking good. Skip the first two arcs. They're horrible. Um, <laughs> no, arc... don't skip them. No, skip them. Go back Take to them if you like them. Watch arc three, uh, Racket in the Kind of <laughs> District. It's really good. Starts there. It gets better. It's okay. After on YouTube, watched... we're like, yeah, I don't fucking yeah. know. Uh, on YouTube, um, we are in the sixth arc. Currently, just going into it, there is nine arcs for the first arc, uh, season, yeah? Jesus. Yeah. Anyway. And it gets um, wild, so don't touch that dial. Don't touch that dial. It's also got a really adorable romance and a fucking hand with rocket boosters. And there's cowboys, there's yeehaws. There's a bunch of yeehaws. There's a funny bone man who wants to be something. <laughs> <laughs> be cooler than you. I'm gonna be a real god, dad. Yeah, there's also a funny worm who talks to a guy in his head. Anyway, yeah. uh, and there's the, also the, a the, puppet the... with an army. <laughs> yeah, there's a funny puppet, man. There's a funny puppet, man. <laughs> it's a good time. Hey, can I mention I love you guys? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Thank you. I love you too, cats. Uh, this is great. Can I mention... How fucking cool Sebastian was with his evolution of his stand. This was definitely a Sebastian episode. I really yeah. think it was an everyone episode, but Sebastian killed it with his stand. No, Sebastian <laughs> shined through the entire episode. Alright, nominations. Even though it was a long session, it's hard to remember everything. Yeah, let's uh, Sebastian uh, and his stand. <laughs> Straight fucking up. Yes. All okay. the points to Sebastian. Point to yeah. Renegade for drop kicking, uh, uh, freaking... what's his name? Oh... Uh, Heartbreak uh, Wonderland off the Heartbreak, Heartbreak Wonderland. Oh, Twice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh, a point of fucking uh, Mercury for, like, accidentally calling the fact that he was going to launch tickets. Can I give a point yes. to Sebastian for figuring out who We're Not Alone is? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I can't believe... <laughs> Good job. Um... Can I give a point to Jonah for showing up? <laughs> yeah, a point good to Jonah, Jonah for Jonah showing up with a punch. That super punch, oh my god. Wrap it up. That was so good. We oh. joked about it, about you showing up during the fight and, like, punching him in the face, and you come into the session it right then. It was timed perfectly somehow. Oh god. Yeah. A point to Begolgi for the freaking putting on the carnival music on the computer. <laughs> yeah. Leading him I'm, over I'm, to I'm the punch. I'm proud of that one. Point to <laughs> Renegade so for um uh asking for sleeping medication for Weird Alone. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. That was good. That was good. I was like, she's not in pain. She damn oh. is she tired. She needs oh, nap. God. Oh man, okay. oh man. Point to Mercury Bubble. for the ending. Oh my god. <laughs> that was good. <gasps> yeah. So, Tally actually gave me the option of, since I knew he was a vampire, making a hole in the grave to channel sunlight in, or something. Yeah, I asked him if he wanted to kill him, and... I said no. Yeah, um, why? Yeah. I... There's so much more I want to give for this episode. But Golgi, that Grace talk was pretty damn good. It, it was. was good. Grace it was talk. Good. All the movie puns, I want to give one to each of you for movie puns. <laughs> I'm I, glad I, uh, Grace is part of the team. Holy shit! Yeah, Grace is here. Is. Yeah, I, um, Grace is real. G is real. I I really like the part where um, Sebastian used 
used uh, his stand to make Renegade scream, Guys, there's a dead body! I <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, there's a dead body! That was so long ago, but that happened, yeah! But also, can I just say, that also gives me the heebie-jeebies that there was a body drained by a vampire in that mm. memory. There yeah, was? maybe yeah. maybe it's like we're dealing with a very, very bad vampire man. It's very possible. Who, who, who does these things? Yeah. The gold sheet and with Rhapsody and the knives. <laughs> that would be oh, yeah. Can I give another one to uh fucking uh um Dream On? <laughs> Dream On has two bizarre points now. Dream On has Just two Dream On being so adorable, just be like, no, they definitely got it. <laughs> Dream On's gonna use that character point to buy a character type. <laughs> Hype man! Hype man! Oh my hype god, man. totally good. We're gonna blow what? him up to be a hype man, yes! Can I give one for Don just for putting up with our bullshit? Don, sure. Don got a bizarre Okay. Problem. One for Sebastian for that fucking heart-wrenching scene. Oh, oh yeah. That Where tried to take the bullets? Yeah, that part. Oh I'm my god! Yes. Oh, I forgot that happened! Yeah. Holy shit, yeah! Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah everyone, so everyone, amazing. Uh, I can can I give one more to Jonah for being a dense motherfucker and not realizing the girl <laughs> has the fucking crush on him? <laughs> <laughs> Is that two dense motherfuckers in one episode? Yes. No, two no, dense motherfuckers. No. That's a record. Anyway, uh, I want to say the totals. All right. Uh, we've got four for Bagolji. One for Dreamon, one for Dawn. Hell yeah. <laughs> Three for Mercury, four for Jonah, five for Renegade, and seven for Sebastian. Nice. Congratulations, Sebastian. Sebastian. You are the yeah. MVP of the night. Sebastian, Sebastian congrats. The this is your uh... episode. Good job. Good job, everyone. <laughs>